It's 1998. Apple releases the first iMac. People unbox it and boom, no floppy drives. The world panics. How will you save your files? How will we transfer data? But Apple, they didn't even care. They believed the future was CDs and the internet. Then comes 2012. Apple takes another swing. Apple MacBook releases and this time without a CD and DVD drive. And once again, as expected, it was outrage. Forums filled with complaints, but within a few years, every laptop maker followed. Then comes 2016, iPhone 7 arrives, and this time, with no head full jack. People said Apple had lost its mind, memes exploded, rivals mocked Apple, but today, almost every flagship phone is wireless. See the pattern? Apple kills a port, people resist, and then the entire industry adapts. And now, in 2025, all eyes are on one question. Will Apple do it again? And will they kill the USB port forever? Because if history tells us anything, when Apple makes a bold move, it doesn't just change their devices, it changes all of the technology. Let's understand this in today's video. You might be wondering why am I saying this so confidently that the next thing Apple is going to destroy is the USB ports. So first we are going to discuss this. If you look closely at the Apple's move in last few years, like at the time of MagSafe, Apple is pushing wireless charging harder than ever. In fact, the latest iPhones can charge as fast as wirelessly as they can with a Type-C cable. Second, the European Union forced Apple to adopt Type-C cable. And as you all know, Apple doesn't like to be forced. If history repeats, instead of sticking with USB Type-C, Apple could leapfrog again and go fully wireless. And third, Apple's other devices. The Vision Pro has no ports. AirPods, entirely wireless. The message is clear. Apple is slowly building a portless ecosystem. So if you connect these dots, it's evident that USB port might simply be the next casualty. But the real question isn't, will Apple kill USB port? It's why Apple would want to do this. From Apple's perspective, going portless makes perfect sense. No ports means sleeker design. Imagine an iPhone with no holes, no weak points, just a seamless block of glass and metal. That also makes devices more durable, more water resistant and harder to break. Also, if you look at the new iPhone 17 Air, you would notice that Apple now prefers minimalism instead of features. But there's another benefit. Control. If charging and data transfer go fully wireless, Apple owns that ecosystem. From MagSafe chargers to accessories like AirPods. And if history tells us anything, it's that Apple loves control. So while user might see it as a losing feature, Apple sees it as gaining design freedom, ecosystem dominance, and even bigger profits. But here's the catch. What's good for Apple isn't always good for us. For everyday users, portless iPhone could be frustrating. First, file transfers. Wireless transfer is getting faster. But for pros like us creatives who transfer thousands of GBs of files and videos here and there, nothing beats a cable. And let's not forget charging. Wireless charging is convenient, but it's still not efficient. It generates a lot of heat, wastes a lot of energy, and may require other accessories, which are a lot of expensive. And finally, Choice. With no USB port, you are locked deeper into the Apple's ecosystem. MagSafe chargers, Apple certified accessories, that costs more and you have to buy all of them. And that ties you into the Apple ecosystem so you have no other choice but just buying all these accessories to make your experience with Apple worthwhile. So while Apple gains freedom and profits, users risk losing flexibility, speed and affordability. Quick note, if you want to connect with me outside of YouTube, you will find all my socials down here in the link in the descriptions below. Let's connect here. And if you have any questions, you can DM me anywhere on Instagram or Twitter. I will make sure to reply you. If Apple really does kill the USB port, it won't be just about the iPhone. It could spark a shift towards a completely wireless future, where our devices charge, connect and sync without a single digital cable. For some, that future sounds exciting, but for others, 
That sounds like losing control, but history tells us one thing. When Apple makes a bold move, the entire industry eventually follows. So the real question isn't if we will live in a portless world, it's when. Do you think Apple should kill USB ports or should they stay forever? Let me know in the comment. And if you want to know how Apple controls you and millions of users around the world to remain in that Apple ecosystem and nudge them to buy their devices, I have made a detailed video on it. You can click here to watch this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Peace out.